Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. You are watching Weight Loss to Burn Boss. My name is Brittany and this is my co-host. Betty. This is Betty. And so today is national, today is national cabbage day. And I was so excited um, to come on and share with you a cabbage recipe that I love. If you're coming in, if you're watching, go ahead and hit that um, subscribe button, okay? Go ahead and hit it. I love cabbage. Um, and it is always like, it's like a huge um, staple in my house. I cook it all the time, right? So I'm, it's going to be a quick recipe. I'm not going to be on here long. If you are joining us live, go ahead and, and type in the chat. Let us know you're here. Let us know where you're watching from. If you're catching the replay, then leave a comment. But everybody, whether it's live or replay, as you come in, hit that like button that looks like a thumbs up, right? Why are you making that face, Betty? All right, so um, I got, let's see, it's gonna be a very simple recipe. In order to make this easy peasy keto cabbage, you only need a few ingredients, guys. And what I love about it is that you know, did you know that a serving of cabbage? It's only three net carbs. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Cabbage is only three net carbs, and it's a cruciferous vegetable, which is super good for lowering, lowering blood sugar. It's super good for fighting obesity. It's super good for burning belly fat. Come on, somebody cabbage in the house. All right, so let me show you. I only have a few ingredients. And let me see. Do I want this one? Do I want it like this? I don't know. Which which way do I want it, you guys? I know this is clear right here. This is clear, so I'll probably do it like that, right? All right, so I have my cabbage. Look at that. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're going to be using that. I also have a bell pepper. Onion. Mm -hmm. Garlic. Uh huh. Butter, because butter makes everything better. Hey, sissy. Hey, sissy. Sissy. Sassy, sassy. You know what? I do want to switch it. I don't know why. I know y'all are like, Brittany, you're super annoying. I want to switch it. Okay. Okay, pumpkin. All right. Betty, sissy's on here. Hi. Yes. Okay, so I'm, I'm excited about it. We got our cabbage. We got our onion. We got boutet. We got a green bell pepper, uh-huh. We got garlic, and I got some sazon. Yes, Betty? Uh, how much people are on here? It's just one right now. All right, so what we're going to do is I am going to have Betty wash her hands. Go ahead and wash your hands with soap, please. And then... I'm going to wash my hands, too, and then we're going to get this party started right. Let's get this party started right quickly. Set it off by sick jets. Y'all set it off by sick jets. Y'all set it off. <sighs> set it off. <sighs> on the right. On the left. On the left. I sick jets. On the left. Set it off, I suggest, y'all. Set it off, I suggest, y'all. Set it off. Okay, leave it on. Let me wash it. Y'all, we're just getting our hands clean so we can cook. 
Get us some paper towels. Paper. Towels. I love paper. With a towel. Awesome. I also got my colander right here. Then we're going to be the thinky bag. Here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Here. There you go. We can share. I also have a colander. So I can put um, my cabbage in there to wash it off before I put it in the skillet. So right now I'm going to start with my onion while I have Betty take this butter. I'll take your napkin. I want you to unwrap it and I want you to put it over there in our skillet. And I'll show you guys the skillet in just a second. Let me get my knife. Here's my knife. Normally I use a, a sweet Vidalia onion, but we're going to use this one today. Hallelujah. The camera sees you, Betty. Do what I ask you. Awesome. I'm going to take the skin off the onion. Hey, Mama. Hi, Grandma. And Betty, turn the oven on. I mean, the, the stove top on. I want you to put it on medium. Medium. Remember what I taught you? Right here. Remember, you got to look at the black dot and see which one the black dot is where your pot is. Down here. Yep. All right, guys, cutting my onion. And I just do a, a coarse chop. I like. Uh-huh, right in the middle. So you twist it. Good job, Betty. And y'all, I like a real big knife. I don't know why I don't take all of that. I'm just so used to using this knife to now it's just like, I can't imagine using anything else. Go ahead. They're listening. Okay, so me and mom made something for me. I can make my own online store. It's cookies. And I'm going to tell you what they are. So first... There is a crunch heart cookie. It's going to be pink and purple, white, white chocolate chips. Next, there's, there's chocolate drop. It's gonna be chocolate cookie, chocolate, 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 chocolate chips. I'm cutting my bell pepper, y'all. Chocolate sprinkles. Just washing it out and off real quick. And then the next one. I use the top and bottom also. That's gonna be what mom wanted me to do. Pumpkin princess. I forgot what it was. Can you tell? A pumpkin spice cookie. Mm -hmm. A pumpkin spice cookie. And you are paying. And you are paying your chocolate chips, right? Sure. And white chocolate chips. And orange sprinkles. Doesn't that sound good? 
Yes, it sounds wonderful. Put that back in the sink, please. Parish Homes, blessings to you. Thank you for hitting that like button. I appreciate you so much. Awesome. All right, Betty, put the colander up so I can scoop it in there. Betty's my little helper today. When I tell you guys, cabbage is such a staple. It's healthy. It's filling. It's quick and easy to make. It doesn't take a long time. Go ahead and put it in the skillet. There's so many different ways to make cabbage. I mean, people like cabbage soup. People like it fried, sauteed. Then you can take like some of your favorite fillings like you know, tomato sauce and ground meat. And then you can wrap it up in cabbage leaves, um, dip them in sauce and let them bake in the oven and have cabbage rolls. I mean, there's just so many different uses for cabbage. You see, half of the work is cutting it up. And if you don't like cutting it up, you can always get a bag of, of frozen veggies. You know, they have the frozen peppers and onions in a bag already, and all you got to do is throw that in the skillet. Betty, can you sprinkle some of this in the skillet? I'm having her put the garlic. It smells like garlic. The minced garlic in the skillet. Now, remember, guys, we got our butter, we got our onions, we got our bell pepper. Um, already in the skillet. And Betty's cooking that down for us over there. So now I'm going to start cutting up this cabbage. Put my colander this in. Yep, go ahead and mix it, baby girl. Here's our cabbage. And I'm just trying to get this center out. That goes in the trash. And we were talking about the dark leaves today, weren't we, sissy? I love the dark leaves. I don't leave the dark leaves out. Grandma hasn't said anything yet. You got to give her a chance to respond. What was your question again? I said, uh, I want to say hi to you. BJ wants to make sure that Grandma knows. Blip, Betty. Grandma says, when can we expect BJ's Cookie Boutique? Uh, are we going to do a I think we're going to roll out the beginning of April. The beginning of April. And y'all, I'm just dropping that right in the colander so I can give it a good wash before I put it in the skillet. That's going to be nice and shredded up for us. Shout out to the four in the building. Thank you for joining me. We are making some easy peasy keto cabbage. Right now I have onion, green bell pepper, garlic, and butter all in the skillet. I'm cutting up my cabbage now and then I'm gonna wash it up and let it join the party remember guys this is easy and let me tell you something if you don't like if you do not like cutting up the cabbage and stuff you know what I like cutting up vegetables I find it very therapeutic 
Um, I know I could buy them frozen, but I like to sit here and cut up the fresh vegetables. I know I could probably pay like a dollar extra and also um, get them cut up, but I just love it. But if you don't love it, don't worry. You can make this a 10 minute recipe by buying you a bag of, of shredded cabbage. Get that coleslaw mix. That coleslaw mix ain't nothing but a uh, green and red cabbage and a little shredded carrot and a little carrot ain't never hurt nobody. You know what I'm saying? A little carrot ain't never hurt nobody. So you can um, go ahead and buy that. And guys, like I said, I know I could use a different knife, but I'm, I'm so used to using this knife and I got plenty of knives. Cheese. Hey, Angie. No, we're just getting this cabbage cut up. So, you know, if you just buy the frozen bag of peppers and onions, get you the shredded bag of cabbage, right? And then you go ahead and add that stuff to your skillet. You just cut down two thirds of your time, right? You don't have to be extra for me, like me. You can make this super easy. And there we go, shredded cabbage, boom. And if you do wanna cut it up, I just showed you a quick and easy way to cut it up. Bing, bang, boom. Yes, I like cooking too. It is therapeutic. I love cooking. Betty says she likes cooking too, Angie. Did you speak to Angie, Betty? Yeah. Hi, Sandy. So, y'all, we just finished working out. We did about an, an hour or so workout. Me, Bliss, and Betty. We did us some Zumba, and it was good, too. It was super good. I enjoyed every bit of it. Me and my girls dancing around the house, getting in shape, getting fit. Miss Andy, last time I cooked some eggs. Did you hear it, sis? Betty wants you to know that she made some eggs. She did a very good job on the eggs. I had to cook them low and slow. That way, there was no way they could burn. All right, I got my cabbage in a colander over here. I'm gonna show you. And I'm just washing them off in some cold water, a cold wash, getting in there. And plus just a little water on the cabbage. I like having that little moisture in the skillet too. And you know, you, you wash it as many times as you think you need to. Some people, you know, even go and wash it three times. I don't do all of that. But you know, if that's what you got to do for you to feel like your food is safe, then I'm not knocking it. Some people will go as far as getting the basin, filling it up with uh, lukewarm water, adding a couple of uh, teaspoons of baking soda and a cap full of vinegar. And you know, to them that helps remove whatever wax, film, pesticide, preservative might be sprayed on the cabbage, if you feel you need to do that, then guess what? Do you boo? Do you boo? Boom. There's my cabbage cut up, you guys. I'm gonna get y'all transferred over here. Betty's over here cooking the peppers and onions. Y'all can see her. I'm gonna try and move y'all.
Come on, hold on. Let me see. Lao. Lao. I hope y'all ain't dizzy. You know what? Maybe I'll, I can change the camera over here, y'all. Oh, I turned it off. I didn't mean to. Settings, camera, uh-huh, rear, back, right? Oh, look there. There we go. Hey, babe. How was your workout? Say hello to the people on TV Dad, we got a camera right you. here and we got a camera over here. Oh. You're making cooking. You're making cooking. You're making cooking. <laughs> All right. Thank you, babe. All right, guys. I'm just transitioning you over here. You know what? I probably could have chopped everything. Can you see? Can you see me? You see me? You don't know how much I prayed. Don't know how much I gave. Don't know how much I gave. I'm just trying to explain. Ooh. All right, let's see, do we do we really need another camera? I don't think we need another camera, do we? Y'all need to be able to see in it. There we go. There we go. Looky da. All right, Betty, you got some peppers and onions kind of flailing. All right, so now that the butter's melted, um, everything is cut up. I'm going to move the heat up to a medium high heat, you guys. And then I'm going to start putting the cabbage in in phases. Go ahead and lay the spoon right there, Betty. And go ahead and you can take a handful and put it right in there. You ain't got to touch it, just take it. I'll show you one time. See, you take, boop. Okay. Don't throw it because you don't want to spill it, but come on, get close. Get close and personal. You ain't got to be scared. Uh. Beautiful. Cabbage look like small squirrels that been cut. They look like small squirrels. No, small squirrels have been cut up. Okay, one more. That's good. We're going to stop right there for now. And then let me show you. All right, I like to put it in batches because I want everything incorporated evenly, right? Okay. Think I got it. Hold on, Betty. All right. And so you don't want to put everything in at the same time. You kind of want to layer it in. Let it cook down, layer it in, cook it down. And then, Betty, if you'll go over there and get those orange packets for me, we're gonna, I'm going to have you put those in there. And what Betty has, hold it over it is sazon sazon uh-huh pour all of that in there you see she putting the sazon in it that's bagoya and it is just a, a punch of flavor you guys it is a punch of flavor okay now you're being here Hey, my diamond. Oh, my goodness. I got six whole people on my first live. Come on, 
on, somebody. Come on, somebody. How you doing, my diamond? Go ahead, Betty, gently, gently, gently. And you know what? You train the child up, right? Betty, what I'd like for you, don't hold it by the ends. I want you to hold it by the neck. That way you have more control. Mm -mm. No, let go, let go by the neck. And not too much because you don't want the skillet to move on you. Uh-huh. Yep. You want to make sure that all that orange is all over all of the vegetables. Did you put both packets in there? Mm -hmm. Very good. Hey, my diamond. We just in here making cabbage on National Cabbage Day. Did you guys know? That cabbage is only three net carbs? Come on, somebody. Hey, Uncle. Uncle Tony is on. Hi, Uncle Tony. It is only three net carbs, you guys. So indulge. Indulge on the cabbage. Make it good and indulge. All right, that's good, Betty. Put your spoons down back on the plate and then i want you to clean up a little bit go ahead and throw your packs away and then i want you to find the top for the garlic and put that back on because we don't need the garlic no more and see it cooked down a little bit i'm just gonna add a little bit more especially to those empty spaces that i see And then get the top for the garlic, Betty. Yeah. And you can put the garlic back over there with the cutting board. See, we're just mixing it in. My diamond is at work. Six people here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you would please hit that like button. It looks like a thumbs up. I would truly appreciate it. And I thank you for showing me the love. I know you guys could be anywhere doing anything. But thank you for supporting uh, us on the first live. Yeah, I said we want to see DJ. Well, here she is. There go the baby. All right, so while that's cooking, oh, oh my God. Put a little top on it so it can wilt down. So I wanted to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about my intermittent fasting plus keto journey. So I don't know if everybody knows, but this has been an incredible journey. And I would say that, that God laid it on my heart to take this journey. Um, for so many years, I have struggled with, with my weight. And I actually um, kind of made excuses. I've always wanted to lose weight. I've always wanted to be healthier. I've always wanted to make that lifestyle change, but um, I, because of my addiction to sugar, because of my addiction to carbs, um, you know, I, I made it like, oh, I love being big. I love being a big girl. Ain't nothing better than being, you know, P-H-A-T and and kind of, and honestly, I can't speak for anybody else, but but really it was a lie. Really, I'm, I'm tired of being out of breath when I go upstairs. I'm tired of looking at beautiful, um, scenic, you know, um, 
nature, nature scenes and, and wanting to go hiking and wanting to go walk on the trails and, or wanting to go scuba dive and all of these active things. Um, but I can't because of my weight. You know, my husband and I, we actually, um, for our fifth anniversary, we want to do skydiving together. And I know that that's not everybody's cup of tea, but, you know, it's something that I really wanted to do with him. We wanted to take that, that kind of leap pun intended together, but I was too overweight. You have to be under 250 pounds um, to go skydiving. And even though my husband was, you know, under that amount, I wasn't. And so we ended up changing our plans. And I just got tired of lying. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I know I'm beautiful. Yes, I know that I'm pretty, whether I'm 600 pounds or whether I'm 150 pounds. But I don't want my health to hinder living my life. You know what I'm saying? I don't want my health to hinder doing everything that I want to do. If I don't do it, it's because I don't want to do it, not because my health holds me back. So um, for those of you who may be watching the replay, because I know most in the chat now know that I'm a believer, but, you know, I just feel like God has called me to do a lot of things, and I believe that it's going to require travel. Well, how can I do that if I'm out of breath walking across an airport, if I may have to buy two seats, you know, on the plane or something like that? Yeah, go ahead and have a bit. So um, I fast often for spiritual reasons. Before I started this weight loss journey, I, I, you know, I was determined to live a fasted lifestyle and, and I would go certain days with water only or I would do the Daniel's fast, which is basically if you're not familiar with the Daniel's fast, it's no meat, no sweets, no dairy, no carbs. So basically you're eating fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, um, nuts, legumes, things like that. Um, and I used to pray all the time, well, God, how is it that I can fast, you know, and fast for the different things that you lay on my heart, fast for intercession, all that kind of stuff. What are you looking for, Beck? It's probably over here. Um, but when it comes to dieting and losing weight, I have a hard time. Lord, I don't understand that. And I believe that a few months ago, I started this journey back in September. Um, I don't see, I don't see a big red. Give me your apple. Um, I started this journey back in September, and I just believe that. I heard the Holy Spirit say, well, begin fasting for me. And then I will cause you to lose the weight. And of course, I didn't just jump in and it was just so easy. I kind of worked my way to intermittent fasting. So I'm used to fasting sun up to sundown. So that's what I began doing. I would fast from sun up to sundown. And then um, when the sun would set, I would eat anything I wanted. I would eat the carbs. I would eat the sugar. I would literally eat what I wanted. And then when I got used to doing that, then I started pulling back on, on the carbs because sugar is really my, my biggest issue. So I pulled back on the carbs first. I can have, you know, whatever I want, even the sugar that I want, just no carbs. Here you go, babe. And then after um, I did that, then I let go of sugar. It wasn't just cold turkey on every single thing, you know? And then um, after I did that, I really got into the OMAD of intermittent fasting. And if you're not familiar with, o what, with OMAD, OMAD basically stands for one meal a day. And I would only have that one meal, a, one meal a day, but it wouldn't just be a small regular meal. I would literally try and fit my day's calories into my meal. 
so I would have a healthy amount of food. And then God just allowed it to where the weight just began falling off. I lost 22 pounds um, in my first month. And I just kept on losing. Yes, yes, we can understand that. That I too is desired to lose the weight. Yes. And, you know, because I felt so defeated, you know, I would mask my desire to be healthy because no, you know, do I want to be thinner? Of course, you bet your bottom dollar I want to be healthier. I mean, I want to be slimmer, but I just want life with no hindrances. You know, I've I've worked too hard and I've pressed into God and he has delivered me and set me free to be bound in the natural when I'm free in the spirit. So I wanted my spiritual to match my natural. I'm free, I'm healthy, and I'm strong in the spiritual. I wanna be free and healthy and strong in the, natu in the natural as well. Y'all get what I'm saying. So that is what brought about this intermittent fasting journey. It has been an incredible one. Is it easy? No. Do I still miss sugar? Yes. Do I still think about? Yes, I do, I do. But my why is much bigger than those things. And I haven't had sugar or carbs um, since September. Ah, thank you. Ooh. But you know, it is it has been such an incredible journey. And anybody can do it, you know? I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit, back down to medium. It was on medium high. And I'm just gonna incorporate. I'm gonna incorporate the cabbage there we go do y'all see how simple this is and if you would have had less cabbage you would have been already done by now and the only reason i'm not done is because I'm jaw jacking because I want to connect with you guys. And also, I need the watch time hour. So intermittent fasting is, is very easy. And you don't have to do something as strict as I do. Because I am so large and because I really wanted the weight off fast, I went to the extreme, which is OMAD, only having one meal a day and fitting in 1,800 calories in my one meal. But there are so many other ways, you guys, to incorporate intermittent fasting. Some people do 12 and 12. And remember, the time that you're not eating also counts your sleeping time, right? So that, that six to eight hours that you sleep every night, that counts as fasting. So some people do 12 and 12, where they fast 12 hours. Look at that, that's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I like my cabbage really soft. A lot of people like theirs with a little crunch in it. So if you like yours with a little crunch, then of course you're gonna, um, Stop cooking yours before mine. Said I felt short today. I ate a Reese's Conduct Bar and some Doritos. I did so good all day. It's something about the evenings that haunt me. And you know what? I've been there too. And you know, make sure that you you don't condemn yourself or you know be extra hard on yourself. Obviously, there's a trigger. There's a trigger in the evening time that makes you uh, really desire those things. And um, one thing that I learned 
is when you're starting or trying to start a new habit, you need to change something in your environment. We do. Yes, let me tell you. This is Mike's. Mike has had this since we got married. Oh no, I'm just cleaning up, y'all. And I love this pan. My mom even tried to steal the pan, sissy. But uh, when you're starting a new habit, you have to change something in your environment. So um, I learned that when it comes to a new habit, sometimes what you need to do is uh, rearrange your furniture. Rearrange the furniture. Um, you can also um, like clean something, hang up a new picture, reorganize something, something that you see every day, make a change to it. And sometimes that'll release a trigger. And it signifies to the brain that, oh, we're doing something new. We're doing a new thing. So I had to do that myself. Um, I changed my front room that I use as a studio around. I completely rearranged it, moved the table, changed the chairs, moved my green screen to another wall. I mean, I, I changed everything up and, and that, that works for me. And, you know, that's just something simple too, you know, because it's going to be hard to break out of what we're used to. You know, the, the body is obedient to the conditioning and the triggers the brain has placed on it. So really, it's not with the body. It's really more with the mind. Thank you, Parish Homes. You know, the, it's, it's, it's really like, you know, the flesh or the body is obedient to the brain. So you have to kind of replace those triggers. Um, maybe even, I know one thing that I had to do. Oh, uh, Jay's way, you're looking into keto. I didn't even know that. Yes, yes. Get you some cabbage, some broccoli, some bok choy, some Brussels sprouts. All of that is good for keto. Um, spaghetti squash, if you want something that kind of tastes kind of starchy, but it's still very low in net carbs, spaghetti squash is awesome. And I love a good spaghetti squash. Um, but, um, yeah, so, um, change the triggers or every time you have a craving, do something very odd in that place. <laughs> Oh, these are things that, that I was uh, reading about. Oh, this looks beautiful. Guys, I do believe that we're done. The cabbage is done. And I did more talking and cutting than I did anything else. Let me plate it and let me show you guys. Actually, I think I only put sazon in it. Look, I'm tripping. Let me let me put some some oh, actual seasoning. I want to put the seasoning in You want to put the seasoning in? Yeah. All right. Here, I'm going to put in some Morton's Nature Seasoning. Am I doing good? That's good. Perfect. Let's close that up. I like pepper. So go ahead. Uh, 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 uh. You got to put all your seasonings in first. Put the spoons back down. Pepper. Pepper. Shake. Turn it upside down. And yeah, all over. I like a good amount of pepper. That's good. Thank you. And let's see, what else do I want? A little garlic salt. Garlic salt. And not too much. Don't turn it upside down like the pepper. Sprinkle that like you did the Morton's. Good. 
Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what else do I want to use. What else do I want to use? What else? I'm going to use a little um, Cavenders Greek seasoning. What? That's good. I did it before you, Betty, because I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to spill out. And then, last but not least, I'm going to put it salt free, garlic, and herb. Mrs. Dash, I've been trying to use this up. I bought that for a client from meal prep a long time ago and been trying to use it. Beautiful, Benny. Beautiful. All right. Mix it up, mix it up. I'm going to turn it down to a medium low heat. Said I'm on my way. Be careful, Betty. Yeah. Always be conscious that you're not moving the skillet off the stove. Uh-huh. We always keep handles to the side because you don't want anybody to bump into the handle or put their hand down and flip the pan on you. <laughs> it, it's it's mm. funny now, but it ain't funny when that hot cabbage hit it. Hey, Auntie Rose. You're doing a great job, Betty. Be great job. Great job. Isn't my sous chef doing a great job? Can y'all put a hand of applause in the chat for Betty Boop? For doing such a great job. Just acting. But you don't have to do it. But... Let me see. Let me see. Deal. Hmm? Deal. Ah, no mind. All right. Cabbage Dean. Dean. <laughs> That pepper is flying up. Let pepper rise. Ooh, I want to make On it. On the inside, I got a bit. On the inside of me. I will let you show it to the people, though. Because they want to see you anyway. Woo! Ha! Ah. Hopefully it's not too hot for you. Okay. Mm. Yes, what the hell? You got it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's do it on this camera, let's see. Let's see. Front facing. And hold on, let me take this off. Let me just cut. There we go. Mm -mm. That's two. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Look in, look in their faces. You want to back up a little bit? Yeah. And there's our cabbage. It's blown hot. Huh? I said it's blown hot. Oh, you see the steam rising? Y'all see the steam? Let praises rise on the inside. Oh. That's awesome. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 
All right, you can put that right there, babe. Now let's let's sign off. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining Betty and I. If you know my name, you get one hundred thousand bucks. <laughs> she lies. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, whatever he decides that don't have no bread for me. Okay. All right, guys. So thank you so much for joining us. This was Easy Peasy Keto Cabbage. Did you see that girl? Easy Peasy Keto Cabbage. Remember, one serving of cabbage is only three net carbs. It is a cruciferous um, vegetable, which is great for lowering blood sugar. It's also great for um, lowering obesity and it's really good for belly fat. So get you some cabbage. It is national fry, no, national cabbage day. But if you want to fry, won't head. So just to recap, I had a uh, purple cabbage. Red cabbage is actually for the, the correct term, but I like saying purple because it's purple to me. Uh, I started off with a stick of butter in my skillet, garlic, onion, bell peppers, right? And then I let that all melt down and begin to simmer. I cut up my cabbage and then I added it. I added the Sazon Goya in the orange pack, not the yellow. And then I also added Morton's Nature Seasoning, black pepper. I also added... Um, Cavender's Greek seasoning. Um, and normally, you guys, I add nor, which is a chicken bouillon to it. But I'm out, so we're going to have to do without. And Daddy's still at the store. So if you guys <laughs> stop, girl. So um, if you enjoyed this video, um, please, after this, go ahead and comment. Share it out if you can. Hey, Uncle. Uncle John's on. So yes, thank you guys for joining. Let me see. Woo, it's hot now. And remember guys, you don't have to cook it as long as I did. You know, y'all don't have to cook it as long as I did. Y'all can um stop cooking it if you still want that crunch. How can you tell me now? All right, baby. Tell the people bye-bye. Bye.